hi guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel this makeup cannot waste so i had to film another video and today i'm going to be talking about the things you need to do when coming when coming to the uk my own advice and how i will able to you know do that you know for the uk they have the september intake they have the january and not whole school as the may intake but the major the two common one and popular one is september and january but my husband and i we did january and if you're september intake you guys are lucky because you have ample time you have enough time to plan yourself you have enough enough time to you know decide what which school and our advice that the earlier the better the earlier the better for you to you know that will give you enough time to know okay which school do I want to go? What are their payment plan? How many year course am, am I going for? Now I'm talking concerning masters right now, yeah. So you need to know: Am I going for one year masters? Am I going for thirteen months? Am I going for eighteen months? Am I going for two years? You know, and all these things you need to determine them. I'm talking for September now because I did January, but I'm still going to go ahead and talk about the January. Um, intake so for september intake you guys if you know already that okay i want to i want to i'm, I'm applying to the uk and you guys just grab this opportunity of this two years postgraduate study yeah so so it's very important for you to know and decide that okay well, now that i september people has entered i am going in for next year september even if it is this year september we are in march you can still meet up like pretty well so but for someone that has started like since january will know that okay yes i have ample time you can apply a lot of uk schools here yeah, investors in the uk they do not um they do not charge application fee unlike schools in canada you know so you have opportunity to submit your application your your uh, sop statement of purpose to as many schools as you want right so by then that will give you time to select okay i think i want birmingham city university i want university of birmingham i want ashton i want um North northampton wolverhampton i want leicester i want Lutte, you know conventry there is a lot of universities in the uk and you need to do your research nobody can do it for you even your agents cannot do it for you so i would advise that there's things that you can do because when you to do your personal research a lot of nigerians yeah I'll be talking based on Nigeria because I'm a Nigerian and um, that is the experience that I have. A lot of Nigerians do not like to read, neither do they even like to do research. So because of that, people with little information, they've turned themselves to agents and they started, you know, they started, you know, um, scamming people, scamming people, which is not even good, which is not even fair. So, but if you have done your own work and if you have, a, you decide to have an agent, which I'm not against, you know, you, you, the agents, would not uh, it can't it can't scam you because you was you yourself you know you already done your research whatever is telling you is just a like a plus so you know you are well like, okay especially we're on the same track but you know different different agents will come and tell you different things different things so number one thing that you need is you need um you need to do your research you know because don't let any agent scam you. Applying to the UK is free. If any agent is saying that you bring 250k or bring one money, it's a lie. And that's the truth. This thing is something that you can do yourself. Yeah? Even though I have an agent, but my agent did not even do any work. I'm telling you. The only time the agent really helped was to do to apply for the visa like airports imputer that you would like we take our time very careful and that's the only thing airports impute our details in the visa application our sop we write we wrote it by ourselves nothing so it's not because by the time you use i'm not disputing because i use it i use it i use an agent and my agent is registered here in the uk and any agent that brings students for them in the uk there has a commission that they pay them so after paying them commission they're asking you to pay another money is that not ridiculous so it's not even advisable for you to say okay you want to you can use agents any is free any agent that wants to you are doing them favor by even using them so that's the truth so i'm just saying that out there yeah so let's move now so the first thing is you do your research 
do your proper research. It's an opportunity for you to come to the UK. This this thing really really favors partner really favors partners yeah so it's very important that you try and do your research do it properly then the next thing is the how many years and that's why i was hammering on it that your number of years you have to do your research because you don't have a medical background doesn't make that you can't do any medical course here in the uk you have to be able to prove it through your sop that statements of purpose that yes you can do it by telling them how how many experience you have in the health system your volunteering jobs and whatnot so it's just for you to prove to them that you can study in any medical field so that's that so it's very important that you do your research and know the course that you want to do. Don't be limited and don't limit yourself because ah, I'm an accountant. I can't do any medical like they lie. You can. So just for you to prove it in your SOP. Another thing that is very important is your number of years of course, which is we have the one year, we have the 18 months, we have 16 months, 13 months, two years, will determine the amount you're going to pay. Please, you have to check out for the uh, payment plan. Payments plan is very important. Don't say, ah, because my, my friend is going to Northampton. Means I want to go. I beg go. Don't follow friendship in this matter. Please check out for the payments plan because some schools, they will tell you to pay deposit or some will say 50% outrightly. So just find out the payment plan plans for the school. The schools in London are more expensive and the um, standard of living, the cost of living that you're going to pay is more much more expensive than schools outside London. So you have to determine that, yeah? Don't say, ah, me, I want to stay in London and you don't have money to stay in London. Please, it's very important. Check through those things. You know, you can get more information. Me, I'm talking on based on my research that I made. I'm not an agent too. I don't work with UK government. This is a disclaimer. This is just the things that I do and I feel I can help people out there and that's why i'm saying it so please you can go to www.ukgov.com that's all god.com i'll put the link there so you can go there and you can read things about it yeah so it's very important number of course if you know that your your your, your money you can your money can only carry one year course and you are on for tier four visa yeah you're on tier four visa as a student that's a student visa then if you will not want to because you do a one-year course does not mean that you cannot migrate to tier 2 visa which is the sponsorship visa to extend your stay in the uk it doesn't mean so you just have to do your research well before you finish if you can get a job that will give you a sponsor do you ask you you know why some people that even did longer years are still looking for so it depends on the payment plan is very important and how you can if you have a partner and you have someone that is coming as your dependents and your dependents means either your children or your partner either of your husband or your wife yeah that's your dependents so it, it's very important for you to you know that's what i'm saying that is this this um this is new system of coming with your dependents and you have two year postgraduate study is really really nice for you know people that as dependents and i'm not discouraging is singles like like i'm not i'm not don't worry i believe that god is on the throne and can help you if you are single and you want to relocate by you know, coming to do your masters in the UK, you can. Just be realistic with yourself. Check the money that you have with you. Okay, this money can only carry me for one year masters. Don't say that ah, because I, I want to stay longer. You still have two years for graduate study. Yeah. So please do your research properly. And the, why, the reason why I was clamoring on the number of years is because the number of money you're going to be paying for your IHS, insurance, health surch, surcharge, and your visa determines on the number of years you'll be spending in the school, like the number of mas years in your master's. So if you're doing the, so I said if you're doing the one year master's course, there is the amount you'll be paying for your insurance, I IHS. If you're doing two years, there is. If you're doing 18 months, 16 months, so there are different amounts you'll be paying. Paying. So it's very important that you do your research concerning that your accommodation your proof of funds i did a calculation about your proof of funds using my husband as a yastic as a as a case study now his school fees is fourteen thousand. what is going to be your school fees we are staying outside london so i don't want to talk about london so i'm going to be using him so if you consider that you can also get your information on uk gov there are lots of information there but this is what we did so the school fees was 14520 His deposit was 3000 That's the initial deposit for him to get um, the, after they've given him conditional offer. Some schools, after your unconditional offer, you can pay your deposits. Then you can now start doing... But I would advise that for your proof of funds, you can start reading it once you get your admission. 
your they've given you offer please start put your money in your account so that it start 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 reading then um after your approval of funds and what are the things that is going to be in your proof of funds is your balance of your school fees which is eleven thousand five twenty minus that three thousand some schools give scholarship our i didn't bother to remove it because they're going to remove it at the tail end of it you can't remove it at the first 50 percent you're going to be paying so that's why then nine thousand two hundred and seven is the is the feeding allowance the accommodation for my husband then six thousand one twenty for me as a dependent so everything is twenty six thousand four eight seven that's the one that's going to be in your account yeah you're going to be using oanda rates don't use um black market rate to oanda rates O A N D A. I'm going to write it same so you can see. So you put the money in pounds, twenty six thousand four eight seven pounds, convert it to naira because that money have to be in your account for twenty eight days, not twenty eight working days. Yeah. So when you put the money there, um, our in our own time it was fourteen thousand six hundred fourteen million. Sorry, fourteen point six million. So because of the exchange rate, we decided to add one point five million so that in case no matter how I the extra year goes we are still because your money have to be complete if your money is, is missing one naira, i'm telling you they will reject that your proof of funds please be careful so the money have to be there just just put extra money so that in case there is a fluctuation in pounds so you money have to be there for 28 days then after 28 days you print out your statement of your proof of funds your statement of account you had it to your you to submit it to the school then they will issue you a cast after they verify this and that can take three to five days depending on the school yeah so then after they release your cast a cast is um confirmation of acceptance something whatever so i'm going to get the full product um full meaning and write it there so that's what you after you they give you your cast it is good that issue cast so when they give you your cast that is when you can now apply for your visa and that's that so please you consider where you're going to be staying as well your accommodation so very important also your ticket money all these things they are very important and the full stuff you want to bring as well i would now this is personal advice me i'm advising people if you like take if you like don't take but this is my own saying <clears throat> learn one and work or, or, or the other please do just learn it it will come in handy please learn want you to please learn one thing or the other unlike us now we had a delay in our visa which took us 23 days something that ought to take 15 days and there was a loss that we did if we had not carried that step took that step i'm sure we're not having even gotten our visa when we got it so please in case you you had this experience you're going through this please reach out to me i'm going to tell you what i did to get my visa you know because our, our biometrics was on the 19th and till then we didn't hear anything also when we got to our visa we didn't realize that this decision has been made since on the 8th of february but we got it on the 18th so but glory to god we are here now so in case you're not clear on a lot of things just let me know dm me and i'm sure this will be of help thank you be good bye i love you bye